Hey guys, so <clears throat> I'm still on the homemade embellishment kick. Um, today we're going to make um, some tiles or clay embellishments a la Patty Tolly Parish. If you don't know who she is, I'll link her channel in the description below. She does a lot of collage type things with tiles that she's made out of polymer clay and that's what we're going to try today. Um, this is black swirled with rose gold glitter and I think it's conditioned enough and ready to go but um, you know me and polymer clay have a love-hate relationship so so I don't know <laughs> um, let's just roll it one more time this is sort of a I don't know for lack of a better term a clay rolling board um, and it has these guides in it that are, you can put in either side the rolling pin fits across and that just helps you evenly roll out um, a piece of clay that's an even depth. And I don't have a pasta machine so uh, for clay. So I have a pasta machine but it's actually for making pasta I should say. <laughs> it's not for making clay, it's in the kitchen. <laughs> So if any of you want to send me a happy mail of a pasta machine for clay, I mean, you know, happy mail address is in the video description. <laughs> anyway, so we're going to um, roll this out. This is, um, I have the 1 8 inch guides in here. I don't want the tiles like too thick at all. It wants to stick to the rolling pin. I, I want to get that off. So I'm going to take my clay knife scraper thing and there we go. Let's get that off. I was going to mix this until it was like completely incorporated, but I'm kind of liking how it's looking um, swirled like that. It's almost like it's um, distressed copper or something. I don't know. So I kind of like the way that looks. So we are going to do that. Then I'm going to take some of my rubber stamps. I have a rubber stamp and stencil line in case you didn't know. Um, this is set number 11, and I like this one because it has this handwriting stamp in it that we're going to put on here, I think right in the middle. Press it in. Kind of left to press in impression. The only thing is that you can't really press it twice. Let's try it again. I'm trying not to get my head in the camera. Yeah. And what else? Let's see. I'm going to try this one. So this is one of the modern atomic sets. This is set number... Um, one. Oh yeah, that's better. That's stamped better than the handwriting one. But that's fine. I just wanted to leave an impression and like texture in the tile. I don't even know if you guys can see that on camera, can you? Do I want to add anything else? Let's see. Maybe this little one from Modern Atomic set number three. This little tiny one. Okay, that's pretty cool. Now we're going to cut it apart with our straight edge into rectangles or squares or something. Something resembling something straight. 
if I can without getting my head in the camera. That's like a trick. I think some days that's very challenging for me. Okay, that's the little cookie sheet that fits inside my little toaster oven I use up here in the art room. So I have a bunch of clay, but I'm not going to make all of it into tiles, at least not today. Um, but I do want to use up this this little bit of clay. So I'm going to re-scrunch it, re-roll it, stamp it, and I'll be right back. Okay, this is my little cookie sheet. Um, I got the handwriting stamp to impress in the clay. Can you see that? I had to really lean on it. Probably if I conditioned the clay a little more, I'd have to lean on it less, but it did work. So again, I'm gonna just keep cutting my clay until all the clay is used up and I'll be right back. Okay, now that we've got our cookie sheet filled, I need to get out the toast, I need to put all this away. I'm gonna turn on the toaster oven and we're gonna bake these per the package instructions, which is gonna be challenging. I don't have my reading glasses on. Um, 275 for 30 minutes per quarter inch. Yeah, that's what that says. I, ha I do have Primo. Are these both Primo? I don't. I tend to not think they are Primo. One is Sculpey and one is Primo. 275 for 15 minutes per quarter inch. So this one says 15, this one says 30. So maybe 20. <laughs> I'll keep an eye on it at 15 and we'll see what happens. All right, I'm gonna do that. I'll be right back. Okay. So I baked them for 20 minutes, which seems to be the right choice. Um, and I tried baking with this um, sparkle clay in a different color by itself not long ago, and I had a really hard time with it. And I'm just, it's just now dawning, me, uh, dawning on me, looking at the two different kinds of clay and their baking times, that maybe I was following the sparkle clay's package directions, but that was way too hot and way for too long. So that's just like an idea I thought. Um, so they're all cool now. I put them on this, uh, my palette plate just to cool. So we're gonna take them and we're gonna make the design in them stand out just a little bit um, by putting some metallic rub on them. I have a bunch of different kinds of metallic rub including these metallic lusters from DecoArt. I have these treasure gold metallics which are an oil based um, non-tarnishing wax gilt. Um, I can tell you they're oil-based by the smell. Um, they work great, but they stink. Um, I also have lots of metallic paints. I think today I want to try these. I have a copper color. It's called Copper Kettle, and then I have Brilliant Turquoise. I think those would look nice on here. And I've got a couple of stippling brushes, short, fat, stiff, bristled brushes. Uh, one for each color, so I think this will work. We'll try it anyways. What's the worst it could happen? Let's get the baby out, wipes out, just in case. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to um, first try the copper. I just want to grab just a little bit. I do want to have my newsprint pad here close by. Yeah, because I don't want too much paint on the brush. And I'm just going to very, I'm barely touching the tile. Let me zoom in for you so you can see what I'm doing. Now I know when Patty Parrish does these, she does them with pigment powders and things like that. Um, if you use something more like this, then probably what's going to happen is once it dries and you clear coat it, nothing should move. Um, she has trouble with things, um, some of the metallic actually coming off. Yeah, I like that with these two colors on there. And then the sparkle clay sort of in the background. Oops, where are we? There we are. And you could um, clear coat them after this rub dries, or you could just leave it. But you'll notice that you can kind of barely see the stamped impression into the tile until you put this rub on there. And then you're like, oh, wow, wait a minute. There is. There is a design or something on there. Okay. Nothing like talking to the camera and like looking up and it's off because you ran out of battery. It's a good thing I've got a spare. Anyways, 
as I was saying, you could clear coat them um, after this dries and nothing should move. Um, I love the way they're looking. We're gonna keep going while I'm chatting. Um, you probably could, of course, you can of course use them as a mixed media embellishment, which is what I intend at the moment on using them for. But you also could probably do a sculpture with them, which I know Patty has done before. You could, of course, add them to a cam mixed media canvas or other wall kind of hanging. Um, you probably also could line a you know a wooden tray or a metal tray um, to use on your coffee table or in the kitchen or something. Um, you would probably want to cover the tiles once you set them in the bottom of the tray with um, like a food safe resin or something. But how cool are these? You know, I've watched Patty make these for years and I've always thought, you know, I should try that one day. And it finally dawned on me the other day, I caught one of her lives. Well, that was a little bit too much copper. Anyway, I caught one of her lives uh, by happenstance, which doesn't happen too often anymore. I'm too busy, but um, I was watching her make tiles. I thought, you know, I've got clay and everything upstairs. I need to just give that a shot. So I finally had time today. And yeah. Now the sparkle clay is difficult to work with. It's hard to condition. It's really stiff, tough clay. I, I actually prefer the softer clays, but the sparkle clay is really pretty. And I don't think it's, I don't think they make it in the softer clays. Um, not all our polymer clay is created equally. Um, that being said, this was, a, as I said earlier, a mixing of two different brands of polymer clay. It worked. And as these are cooling, they're getting really hard, by the way, very stiff, which is perfect. I'm gonna finish these last two and then we'll get a close-up shot. Um, this DecoArt um, metallic luster is working like a charm. Um, I haven't used it on too many things, but what I have used it on, I've really liked. Uh, I am in the DecoArt Helping Artists program in um, the interest of clarity. Um, but that being said, I would not tell you something about a product like that if I didn't genuinely like it. Um, and I do like these metallic lusters. I like my metallic paints in general, but these are nice um, alternative waxy sort of burnishing kind of creamy paint to these, which I do love, but these stink. These don't smell. Oh, what does it say down there? Um, wax metallic finish. Uh, in three languages. That's what it says. So deco art metallic luster. Um. Anyway, it works great. Here are our tiles. Look at those. Aren't they pretty? And then I'm going to take my newsprint paper and just do that, wipe off my brushes. And I've got another piece of paper I still need to work on today's tag and paper clip. So anyway, um, polymer clay tiles. Think about trying it. It's another embellishment on its own or embellishment part. If you're gonna um, add it to um, hand-painted papers, copies of painted papers, um, fabric, cardboard. I mean, it's, it's another layer. It's an interesting another layer. If you wanna see what I would do with this kind of thing and more, you can follow me on social media. I'm on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all of that stuff. You can also find the Facebook art groups I'm in and request to join and, and follow me over there and show me over there what you're doing in the way of homemade, homemade embellishments or what channels or videos that you find that are inspiring you um, on YouTube or maybe their pages on the internet. Uh, you can also find the places where you can support the free content here on YouTube and over in the Facebook art groups. All of that is in the link tree list of links, which is in the description below, along with my happy mail address and a bunch of other stuff. So check it out. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Check out Patty's channel. I'll link it in the description below. Also, um, she's really, you know, she does some interesting, wacky, crazy, far out things. This is one of them, and it's, you know, 
I mean, how do you just, that's pretty, how do you not like that? Um, and it, this is especially great if you have a bunch of a little bit, a whole bunch of little bits of clay. Um, you could just mix them all together completely or you could marble them like I did these two and then just make some tiles. Uh, anyway, that's it for today, everybody. Go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it and I'll see you later. Bye, guys.